culprit murdered the doctor before Amapel entered the room. Which means the culprit had to have gotten ahead of Amapel at some point. It was when the door first opened. At that moment, the culprit snuck into the doctor's room. Yeah, when the doors were slowly opening, just like this. That's when the culprit took their chance. Right. The moment there was enough space for a person to slip through, the culprit hopped off and went inside. Like this? Uh, we still haven't reached the goal! I thought we could get into the doc's lab now! Is this a joke to you? Your deduction is full of holes. If this is a joke, it's not very funny. Master, you know what to do. Of course. Hmm. I'll take your garbage deduction and toss it in the trash. I am the saint of Kanai Ward, protecting it from filth like you! The culprit hopped off Malapal as the door opened, then slipped through the gap in the door. That's impossible even for Fink the Slaughter Artist! Think about it. If Malapal's line of sight changed just a bit, I'll flash through this mystery. <sighs> is designed so that when its hand is stretched out, it won't execute any other inputs. That's why when it was pressing the button for the door, the culprit didn't show up on the camera. <sighs> you little maggots. Don't get so full of yourselves. You're not getting out of here alive. couldn't move while the door was opening. That's when the culprit took their chance. Since the door opens outward, it's possible to take advantage of the blind spot it creates. That's how the culprit managed to stay outside the camera's view as they entered the doctor's room. Hmm. So it's an elaborate murder that took advantage of Amapal's design, and even the direction the door opens. Whoever planned this must have really wanted the doctor dead. I guess you can call it an obsession. How scary. Just like this passageway. Where will it take us? Perhaps a suite with the culprit's obsession on full display? A room of nightmares? Knock it off with the weird soliloquies. Let's go. You're really going? Huh? Again? Let's get this thing! Hey, Yuma. When the culprit entered the doctor's room while the door was open... Huh? Y yeah At the time, the doctor was in the room, right? If the door opened and an intruder entered, how could the doctor not have noticed? So what if he did notice? It's not a big deal. Yes, it is. If he had noticed an intruder, the doctor would have turned to face him. Which means he wouldn't have been stabbed in the back. That piece of trash is right! Your logic is flawed. Hey, what are you, on the Phantom side now? Hmm. 
Listen to my incredible words of wisdom. Your crappy deduction is worth less than shit! Everything you do is a fucking mistake! Deduction is inconsistent! It's full of inconsistencies! By your logic, even if the doctor could be stabbed, it wouldn't be from behind! That claim doesn't hold up! <laughs> no! The culprit did stab the doctor in the back. That's how the body was discovered. That's why I'm saying your deduction is inconsistent. By your logic, the doctor couldn't have been murdered in that way! The culprit quickly entered the lab. But the doctor was in the room at the time, right? There's no way you missed an intruder! Running is noisy. So Leska would have heard and turned to face the culprit. And his chest would have been stabbed, not his back. Unless you think the doctor was asleep. Is there any trace of him being drugged? Even if he didn't look back from his desk, he would have heard someone coming! This is the truth! Wait, the doctor had trouble hearing. That's why he didn't notice the intruder. <laughs> now you're spouting nonsense. Say whatever you want, it won't save you. There's a gaping hole in your logic. And there's no way you're gonna fill it at this rate. Because you, more than anyone else, you're the one refusing to see the truth right before your eyes. What? I refuse to see the truth? Vivius said the same thing, but... It's strange, don't you think? Isn't it about time you noticed that something's off here? Huh? You've solved many mysteries up to now, yet none of them are directly connected to the culprit's identity. That's because the culprit is the hitman. If that's the case, why haven't you reaped the hitman's soul? That would end the labyrinth. It's not that easy. The culprit will fight back unless we solve all the mysteries first. Hang on. What are you getting at? In my eyes, the reason a single mystery hasn't been directly connected to the culprit is because of Yuma's reluctance. It's pushing away the mysteries that lead to the culprit. Huh? Subconsciously, you're closing your eyes to the truth. That's why you haven't touched on the hole in your reasoning. What hole? Whatever, that's enough. Just ignore this guy and keep going. Oh, hey! Yuma. Yuma. Jeez, go away! You know what I'm talking about, don't you? The huge hole in this investigation. What are you... Just ignore him! Let's review your deduction, shall we? The culprit took advantage of Amapau's locked position and entered the lab. 
And before the robot entered the room, that person stabbed the doctor from behind. However, they bumped into Amapel while escaping, causing it to fall over. That was obviously a mistake, but since it wasn't captured on video, they were able to avoid detection. After that, the culprit went inside the decontamination device in the airlock to hide from you. That's correct. So what's the hole in my deduction? It's before all of that. It remains the case's greatest mystery. Which is? How did the culprit get past security? What? We already told you that! The culprit rode on top of Amapal as Master controlled it and was taken all the way to the doctor's lab. But if someone was riding on it, how did they get past the high voltage shocks in the panel chamber? Oh. <laughs> this is the end for you! You have nowhere left to go! Oh, come on! Why now? I won't let you maggots ruin the peace of Kanai Ward! As the king of Amaterasu Corporation and the guardian of Kanai Ward, I will stop you here and now! Perhaps this, too, is an obsession. Why does he insist on covering up the truth? Tell me, what will you do, Yuma? Are you going to stay willfully blind? No, I'll fight! Whether it's subconscious or not, I won't look away from the truth! I'll find the truth no matter what! This is for the Chief and everyone at the Nocturnal Detective Agency! <sighs> <laughs> Good luck! You'll never find it! You'll scurry around this labyrinth forever, like blind mice. You'll run away, looking for an answer that will never come! Keep playing with your shit, Dutchies. You still haven't solved the greatest mystery! How did the culprit get past the security? The critical lab security system was always live. There was no way to reach the doctor. The panel chamber shocks would have fried the culprit. That security system? No living human can breach it! I'll slash through this mystery! <laughs> A human could get past the panel chamber by using Fubuki's forte. In fact, that's how we got past the panels. The high-voltage shocks kept destroying Amapel. But we reversed time every time that happened. Correct. So whenever it was struck by the current, you went back in time. But while that was occurring, the culprit, a human, was riding on top of Amapel. That person was burnt to a crisp every time you failed. But... Which means you killed the culprit over and over again. Vivia? If only you had chosen to remain ignorant, I would have walked beside you in silence. But... If you intend to seek the truth, then I must stand in your way. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? 
He's going to betray you, Master. Betray me? It's up to you, Yuma. This is your final chance to save the world you believe in. What are you going to do? It's time to decide your past and your future. Why, Vivia? Let me ask you. How did the culprit bypass the toxic gas chamber? It's impossible to avoid the gas. The culprit would surely die. You should already know this, right? The gas has a special trait. The gas can seek through even a gas mask. No ability can nullify its toxicity. Once it hits you, you're done for. You die before reaching Wesco. This is the truth! <laughs> if you pass through the toxic gas, you'll die. But you'll have 30 minutes before it kills you. Which means you could survive for 30 minutes. What? Don't tell me! There are no gas masks here that can block this toxic gas. And no fortes that can nullify it. There's only one way you could get through it. You do nothing. You endure it in hopes of Amapel taking you to the next room. Then the culprit didn't do anything to counteract it and just pass through the toxic gas? It's the only explanation that makes sense. This is the truth. I can't believe it. But... If the culprit really did just endure the toxic gas... Then they... The culprit... The culprit... is... It appears you finally glimpsed the truth, Yuma. Well, how does it feel to have your world shatter before your eyes? Isn't this what you wanted? Uh huh? What? What's he talking about? Yomi's mystery phantom and Fifia are both right. Subconsciously, I didn't want to know the truth. Huh? Up until now, the mystery labyrinth was withholding the mysteries that led to the culprit. And that's because it's a reflection of my own reluctance. Master, what's wrong? Do you know who the culprit is? It's the Hitman, right? <sighs> the truth is worthless. Nothing has less value in this isolated, rainy city. No one wants the truth not even you <clears throat> now rot away and die right here no one will get in my way kind lord amaterasu they both belong to me If the culprit carried out the crime like you deduced, then they should be dead from the toxic gas. But no one at the scene has died from poisoning. 
If you can understand that much, then what are you still doing here? You're right that no one in that lab died from that toxic gas. But that was part of the culprit's plan from the beginning. They planned to distort the facts of their death. Yuma, are you sure you want to face the truth? Your world will fall apart. The world that you believed in. Your deduction is wrong! Don't disturb the peace! It's not even worth debating! Is this the best you can do to refute it? Just give up and die! I'll expose the truth! <laughs> the culprit misrepresented their death by using... the Hitman. <laughs> the culprit realized their plan would be exposed if someone in the lab died from toxic gas. So they used the Hitman to cover up their own death Use the Hitman? Meaning, the Hitman wasn't hired to assassinate the Doctor. They were hired to cover up the culprit's death by toxic gas. Huh? The Hitman's target was the culprit? Not the Doctor? But the Doctor was stabbed by the knife with the inscribed F! Doesn't that belong to the Hitman? All you would need is a similar knife. The story of Fink the Slaughter Artist using a knife inscribed with the letter F is well known. Nah, we leave it alone until we receive further orders. Did you see the knife stuck in his back? It's the one that Fink the Slaughter Artist uses, right? I've heard about his knives inscribed with the letter F. So, it was all a ruse? The real culprit made it look like the hitman did it? Stop. Stop, 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 stop! You useless garbage! To hell with detectives and the truth! I won't let you have your way in my city! There is no real culprit! Dr. Wesco was killed by the Hitman! Huh? What's going on? Who's the real culprit? The real culprit... The real culprit is... The time has finally come, Yuma. It's time for you to acknowledge what you've known all along. If the tiny crack spreads any further, the mirror will shatter, exposing the chaos of the real world. Knowing this, Will you still expose the truth? Then, show me your conviction! The clues pointing to the identity of the hitman's target. I know. I've known all along. Now, expose the truth. Do it. If you want to burn the world down! The bloodstained photo found in the hallway near the lab. There was a person pictured with a woman. That was the hitman's target. The real culprit behind this case. The blood obscured the person's face. But I know who it is. It could only be one person. It 
could only be. How do you know? That person in the photo is the hitman's target. And who is it? It's... It's... No! Stop! Don't you dare say another word! No one wants the truth! I don't understand, but... Good luck, Master! I'm always by your side, haunting you! Mm-hmm. 